Yes, indeed. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start this video with Quentin Beastwood. The world of bodybuilding has been waiting for this comeback to happen for almost two years now. And Quentin is going to make sure that he shocks the bodybuilding world with a new version. That is not only just going to be bigger overall, but it is going to be overall a much better physique than what we saw at Texas Pro 2022. And most importantly, this is going to be Quentin with a much better back. The people who have seen him up close weighing 290 pounds in the offseason, they say that he might be the most genetically gifted athlete of the modern times. So sitting at 6'2", Quentin has unbelievable width with super small waist. And at that height, it takes more time to fill out the frame. And that was the main reason Quentin decided not to compete in 2023. So with Andrew Jagged and Samson both over 6 feet tall. And hopefully Quentin will also be on the Olympia stage this year. We will have three very standout guys in the men's open bodybuilding. And all of these guys have one thing in common. They have exceptional flow to their physiques. Plus, they are really eye-catching as well. All of these guys are really aesthetic. Now, the amount of improvements Quentin has been able to make in his back, the extent of that improvement, that is going to play a major factor on how he places at the big shows this year. Antoine William posted two complete physique updates two weeks out of this year's Arnold on HD Muscle's YouTube channel. So it is so hard to predict where he is going to land because the man is looking ripped to shreds and conditioning has never been his issue. Antoine always had this issue with his upper body which deflates as he gets closer and closer to the competition. But even at his flattest here, I'm sure this is Antoine on his flat side. He looks big up top as well. Antoine has one of the craziest cores out there so he will always be bottom heavy. But in the past one and a half years or so, he seems to have created more of a balance between his upper and lower body. So this is a stellar Arnold Classic lineup and only 5 guys can fit in that top 5 category. So Antoine has also set high expectations for this year's Arnold for himself. He wants to finish at least in the top 5. So he is a multiple times Olympia competitor. So it is going to be great to see how he compares to guys like Harsamdi who is doing only his second pro show. Patrick Moore drops an impressive physique update as he plans to return to the stage looking for another professional win and the Olympia qualification for 2024. He has to decide a show more strategically this time because there are some great physiques out there who have more thickness, who are overall bigger than Patrick and who have great lines as well. So Patrick's biggest criticism is that he has always been too small to compete with the big boys in the men's open class and too big for classic physique. Because quite a lot of people advise him to switch to classic physique, which really isn't realistic for him. He just can never make the weight cut off. And he was really offended by this suggestion. And I have to say rightfully so. Which is really understandable, as Patrick always wanted to be a top men's open bodybuilder. The competition overall is much more difficult now compared to 2019, when Patrick made his Olympia debut and he cracked top 10. So he's gonna have to come in with the same conditioning as 2019, but really bigger to impress the judges. So do let me know what you guys think, can he do that? Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.